Do you worry about buying your dream home, but your dream being shattered based on the fact you've got bad credit? A lot of people looking at buying a house with bad credit think it's impossible to get a mortgage. And in this video, I'm gonna break down the options you've got and how it's not all doom and gloom if you've got bad credit and you're looking at buying a property. My name's Anthony from Bulk Mortgages, and if you're looking at buying a house in the next six to 12 months, press like and subscribe so you're fully educated on the whole process. So first of all, before we can have a look at which lenders will lend to you, you need to figure out exactly what the issue is with your credit, how long ago the issues are, and what we can potentially do to improve it or work with a lender that will be a bit more lenient with you. The best way for you to do this is to use a system that we use called Check My File. There is a link in the description and rather than checking Experian, Equifax, TransUnion on their own, this will give you a breakdown of all of the different credit reporting systems in one place. It gives you more information so the mortgage advisor helping you with your application will have everything there to navigate the waters with lenders that will specialise with you if you've missed payments in the past. And one of the massive benefits about Check My File is that it is free for the 30 days. After that, it's $14.99 a month and you can cancel at any time. So the rule of thumb when you're looking at buying a property and you've had bad credit in the past is that your interest rate is going to be a lot higher compared to someone who's got plain vanilla perfect credit. The reason this is, is the lenders look like they're taking a bigger risk for yourself because you've got history in the past or you've not been able to keep up with your payments. And the worse your credit is and the most recent the bad issues are on the credit, the higher the rates tend to be. And on the other side of it, the more time that has passed, since your bad credit has happened, the less of an impact it will have on your interest rate and the opportunity and chances of you getting a mortgage. So as a general rule of thumb, the lenders look back as a maximum of six years in regards to how bad your credit has been. However, a lot of lenders will look at it for the past three years and if your credit score has been squeaky clean, then you can still potentially go with a standard high street lender. However, even if it's not been squeaky clean within the last three years, as long as you are up to date with a lot of your defaults, CCJs, any arrangements to pays that you've got with your lender, it does open the doorways up to lenders that are a lot more lenient when you're looking at applying for your mortgage. Another thing to consider when you're looking at getting a mortgage with bad credit is that some lenders will want a bigger deposit. So as long as you've been squeaky clean within the last three years, there are lenders that can still lend to you if you've just got a 5% deposit. But as you can imagine, the interest rates will be a lot higher on this. If your credit score is really bad and the bad issues on your credit are a lot more recent, you usually need in the region of 15% of the purchase price of the property to be able to get accepted for the mortgage application. And although these interest rates are a lot higher with these particular kind of lenders, the aim is to stay on this particular deal short term, so your credit is back up and running again, you can prove that you've been keeping up to date with your payments, and when you remortgage in your future, you can remortgage away from your bad credit lender and back to someone in the high street that might be able to offer you a cheaper option. And in this video, we've broken down everything you need to know about getting your dream home while still having bad credit. But one other question that you might be asking, it's great we can now get the mortgage, but how much does it cost me to be able to buy a property in the UK? Lucky for you, we've got another video, click here and you can watch as to how much it's going to cost to buy your first home.